aircraft carriers. Factor of five to two. Don't worry, we have us, so we count like a hundred ships for ourselves, it's alright. They all cackle. Evil. Evil people cackle, that's how this works. We'll take on half of the enemy fleet by ourselves, it'll be alright. Prepare to launch. I don't know what we should take on this mission. I'm tempted to take the aircraft carrier. But I'm also extremely tempted just to take the battleship. Because it has high angle guns now, which are really quite effective. And I could force bigger guns on it if I wanted to spend a lot of money here. Um, yeah, I'd have to spend 22,000, nearly. How much of a difference is that? 181, 165, 1190? That's actually quite the damage increase, considering the reload time is identical. That's so expensive, though. Good lord. What else can I get? I can get better high-angle guns. Sure. Done. Next! <laughs> I could fast speed that up. He's saying fast. I could fast that. No, that's not quite how that works. What are percussion fuses? Fuses, I wonder. And I'm gonna speed this up. Hmm. We will... I don't know what to spend this money on, quite frankly. Bridges? Do we need better bridges? What kind of bridges do we have? We have rank one. Should probably get better bridges. Which one of these is better? 27, 11, 2... Japanese one, it looks like. German one's better, but it's freaking massive. It also weighs a lot, so we'll get the Japanese one. And I don't think we'll be able to afford an aft bridge because I just spent all of my money again. Actually, these are really cheap. Why are these so cheap? Hmm... Are you implying that good British people exist? Yeah, some of them are good. So we have two 10 tons, 28, 11, 2. Wow, the US one is really good. Do I want, let's see, 32, 10, 2. German one's really good too. Let's get the German one, slightly heavier. Slightly larger, but also more effective. So, there we go. Let's take the battleship out and let's rebuild the battleship. Because we have new parts. The toadstool. That is, as it is colloquially, colloquially known. Words are apparently not my forte today. What's that guy's name from that TV show? The British guy. Well, that narrows it down. Congratulations! You've narrowed it down. So we're going from, what are we at now? 38.1552. So 304.865 to... Something ridiculous. Sounds about right. And you know what, I can't actually use... Um, hmm. I can't use these in the way that I want, but I'm going to go ahead and put them on here anyway. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and replace the machine guns with them. I think these are better. Nine, fifteen, eighteen hundred, one, two, five.
I can't replace those with high angle guns. I have to literally remove them and redo them. What is this bollocks? Could you have secondly guns? I could. I can have many different types of guns. I can in fact do a somewhat common thing on battleships and take, say, somewhat smaller caliber guns and line them up along the central deck here for additional broadside, but I don't really like doing that, so. Especially when it takes up slots for something like a high angle gun. How far out can I go? We can go that far. Time to put a bunch of high angle guns everywhere. Hopefully this is the right... It's not really... Oh, it'll work, I think. Yeah, there we go. It'll work fine. These are actually really heavy, I've just noticed. We're gonna have to decrease our armor. Kind of a downside of that, I suppose, is they're really freaking heavy. Can you use penguins as ammunition? No. I'll keep it 31. So we have high angle guns now, which are more damaging. They have a longer reload, though. Much higher range is the key thing. So we've got a bunch of 70 caliber, 12.7 centimeter high angle guns. Those are actually really big, considering they're going to be anti-air. <laughs> Freaking 12.7 centimeter anti-air cannons on this thing. And that's why I don't like using cannons, like actual cannons in the central deck here. Because you can see it takes up the slot of that. I mean, I could still put some on here. And it would look cool, but it wouldn't be terribly effective. The penguins would object to that plan? Eh. We could get the penguins from Disgaea. Disgaea. Plus, high angle guns just look cool. I mean, look at those things, man. They're beefy. I like high angle guns, they look cool. CIWS also look cool, but they kind of look weird at the same time, so. Prinnies, yes. To battle with the good old toadstool. Because who doesn't like a toadstool leading the charge against the enemy or something? I can't remember how high high angle guns can go in terms of, uh, size. Hit the enemy's capital ships and take back the fight? You mean kill everything? Secondary Sounds good to me. Full speed ahead. All hands alert. This is bristling with an unnecessarily large amount of guns on that central deck, but whatever. Plus it's got these. You don't mess around with guns that do that. What's over there? Uh, slightly farther over? Where are they at? There they are. Hello! Those look like... Looks like there's possibly multiple battleships in that. Or they could just be cruisers. I don't actually know. Looks like there's at least one battleship over there, so let's pull one of those law-breaking maneuvers there and start going this way. I didn't actually mean to do that. And they're in range. Got a bunch of destroyers, cruiser... Lots of cruisers. Well, they're shooting at me, so I may as well shoot at them. Have some things! And there's my high angle guns doing their work. Look at that. It's glorious. They still failed to kill the missile. Well done. That was your only job. But seriously, that's your only job. Kill it for the love of God, man. Enemy ship sunk. Is everything in this fleet going to be dead? No. In fact, half of it's still alive. What is this bollocks? You pre-ordered Agrist Generations of War. Why did you pre-order that? It looks so silly. 
I was looking at it on the store page, and I'm like, this might be good, but I just kept researching it, and then I was like, nah, I'm not so sure about that anymore. Did they drop anything over here? Health. You're still alive, for whatever reason. It's from 2008? I don't know what that matters. <laughs> I'm playing this game, I don't think the year of the game matters to me. The only problem with these big caliber guns right now is they're so inaccurate. And I currently have no real way of changing that. I got rid of that missile fast. For the love of God, hit the boot. I'm not even that far away from it now, and you still can't hit the stupid thing. Please. There you go. Is he gonna drop anything? Nope. Time to kill these dudes with some really unfitting music, but hey. Still no destroyers. I just think, or sorry, battleships. I just think 18, or sorry, eight of them. I'm having issues speaking today. I haven't seen any. Enemy ship sunk. Oh, he dropped Enemy parts. Ship sunk. Exciting day. Enemy ship sunk. I accidentally killed a boat I wasn't even aiming at. Enemy ship sunk. Well done, me. It's weird for Enemy it to get released sunk. this late. It's not getting released, it's getting put on Steam. Enemy ship sunk. People confuse that a lot, the Steam date with the release date. Those are not one and the same, despite popular belief. Left letter. You have to go and use Skype. Right Skype till you really did to do anything. You, sir, appear to be shooting at me. I could shoot at him from this range, but it's so inaccurate, I'm just gonna get closer for a while here. Need to go this way anyway, let's see if I can ninja dodge some shells here. Probably not, considering it's almost impossible to tell where they're going. It's because Skype never works. Skype works fine. Just because you broke it doesn't mean it doesn't work. Ow. Ow. You can't really ninja dodge things in a battleship. It just doesn't really happen. Enemy ship sunk. Five cruisers sunk. The cruisers aren't really a threat. I mean, I'm in a battleship. I don't think you're supposed to really have a battleship by this point in the game, by the way. Enemy ship sunk. I think you're expected to still either be in a destroyer or a cruiser at this point. How did I miss... Enemy ship sunk. Oh, how did I miss... You're not... No. This destroyer. There we go. Apparently I had a hull breach. This is news! Enemy ship sunk. Enemy ship sunk. I don't think you're supposed to have these size cannons either, quite frankly. But hey, I missed most of those shots. Drop anything? He did. Where did he drop? HP! Enemy reinforcements, apparently. I've never actually had a problem with Skype not working. Let's Enemy sink the aircraft carrier. Sure. And just ammo over there. Now I'm actually probably gonna complete this mission on the way over there. Sink three enemy aircraft carriers. Are there really that many over there? Look at the amount of shells coming in, man. Good lord. Ow. Quick, wiggle! It makes them miss. It does actually make them miss, because the guns use path prediction. So if you wiggle, it predicts the path and the direction you used to be going. It's a glorious tactic. You should use it more often. Enemy ship sunk. Time to sink all of the Enemy boats. Ship sunk. Light damage. Moderate damage. There's a lot of battleships Enemy in these battleship fleets. Sunk. It's kind of irrelevant. Enemy battleship sunk. That was a short call indeed. Pack already. Enemy battleship I'm gonna go ahead and spin all the way around. And start shooting them. There's Enemy no reason to spin sunk. all the way around. It's not like I'm using under deck complete. cannons Enemy here or something old-fashioned, but you know. Enemy ship sunk. One. I was hoping Enemy I'd accidentally sunk. pick up some of this stuff as I drove by here. Left Floated on by. Enemy battleship sunk. Enemy battleship sunk. Let's see. Ammo. Parts. 
Just one thing of parts. And we win, but we're not done yet. Left rudder. Whoa. There's another fleet there. And there's also those carriers back in the back. So we're going to go ahead and kill this first, since it's over here. There's a Skype from your mom telling you she wouldn't be home till later today. Hmm. Seems like a thing that wouldn't need a Skype call, but whatever. By the way, as it turns out, that ammunition type does in fact make it do that. I don't think it does that for cannons, which is why I was confused about it. No, it was just disappearing. It's in fact, it's high angle guns, it seems. I wonder if it does that for machine guns as well, or just high angle guns. I don't know. I wonder if I can kill boats with high angle guns. I'll have to investigate this. You, sir! Right there. I desire testing of you. Did they just shoot... No, they shot missiles. Okay, I thought they shot the water next to them somehow. These are fairly ineffective at destroying Light missiles, damage. quite frankly. Which sucks, because missiles hurt really badly. Ow. Do -do 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 -do. You there! Can I blow you up? I can blow you up with high angle guns. This is a joyous day. Blow everything up with high angle guns. It's terribly ineffective, but hey. Take that, foul beast. Enemy ship sunk. This is just really actually surprisingly effective considering these are my anti-aircraft guns. Enemy ship sunk. Joyous day. I've killed you with weapons that shouldn't really be meant to kill you, but hey. And the carriers are going towards me, so. Enemy ship sunk indeed. Plus I can make it really smoky next to me. It can be like one of those undead, haunted pirate vessels or something that have like mist all around me. They are secondary guns that can do AA, I know. But for the purposes of this game, they are my anti-air guns. That is their purpose. Once I get better systems that allow me to have multiple auto-fire guns, I'll sit up uh, CIWS as well as high angle guns. It's very dark suddenly. Game, why are your night day transitions so bad? Also, it's thunderstorming. Hooray! There's some planes over here somewhere. Like I'm gonna be able to see them when it's pitch black. It should be like right next to me. Apparently they're over there. I'm glad my gunners can see them. There they are. See how effective they are at anti-air? It's ridiculous. Like, they're literally just... They destroy aircraft. Do the coast thing now. Wee! I'm a ghost! Fear mind ghostliness. Or something. Alright, not that. There's something over here. Appears to apparently not be in range. There it is. It's not a cargo plane, so I don't care. <laughs> Woo, spooky. They're shooting at me. How dare you. I can see you too, but I'm not going to shoot at you. Because I want to blow up all of your aircraft in a very rude manner. In the hopes that they drop funds. For whatever reason, planes have a really high chance of dropping funds, and I'm not really sure why. They just drop funds like it's going out of style. And because carriers from the AI have infinite planes, you can literally just sit next to them and blow up planes until the desired amount of funds have been obtained. Unless they fly off in that direction over there and don't die. Oh, it died. And of course it dropped funds. You're shooting the Hermes. Stop it. I think my high angle guns are gonna accidentally kill you. Kill the, uh, kill you. Kill the carriers. A pirate? I'm shooting a pirate. 
I've killed a pirate. I dropped ammo. Look, funds! I told you they drop it, I don't know why. <laughs> Enemy ship in flames! I set one of the carriers on fire. Oops. That seems like a thing they shouldn't be able to drop, considering they inst they respawn instantly, basically. And have infinite quantity of them. Not very good at hitting planes when they're going away from me, it seems. They're coming at me, though, they're pretty good. They were funds I'm missing. Oof. Give me more funds, planes. I demand it of you. Look, see, funds. They're so polite. So polite. I guess I could kill the one boat that's shooting at me. Actually, there's two of them in there. There he is. Oop. Stop engine. Reverse engine. Full speed ahead. Off we go. Oh no, lag. Is it me lagging or is it Twitch lagging? It's me lagging. Sounds about right. Or is it me lagging actually? Or is that just uh No, it's not me lagging. Gosh darned it, Twitch. And there's more funds back there. Please stop shooting me. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy ship sunk. Thank you. Stop Much engine. appreciated, sir. Much appreciated. Oh, well, these guys actually have main cannons on their boat, too. Very, very tiny cannons. Look, in fact, they may actually... I don't even know what those are. Some of them, they appear to just be modeled on there, but not actually do anything. Alright, let's kill these things. Enemy aircraft carrier sunk. Enemy aircraft you get the carrier point. Sunk. Farming Reverse carriers engine. if you need funds. Enemy aircraft carrier sunk. Full speed ahead. Secondary we win. Complete. Reverse engine. I require turning. Stop engine. Full speed ahead. It also depends on where you are. If you're in Eastern Europe or something, then Twitch isn't actually very good because their data centers in Europe are basically garbage. But you know, there's nothing I can do about that. So sorry. Withdrawal. I never actually now, launched my aircraft. Let's leave the area. Apparently I didn't need to, so whatever. Victory is ours. Let us rejoice with a cup of tea. I have no tea, actually. You're in Denmark? I should know that by now. I can't keep a track of where everybody lives. It's too much to keep track of, man. I did have aircraft. I had a single scout plane on it which has anti-submarine capability. So we won't have to fight battles like this for a while? I'd, I'd rather fight by not battles like that, quite frankly. Mostly because they give you a lot of funds. 65,000. And we've recovered a 100mm high-velocity gun. Where in the heck did I get a 100mm high-velocity gun? And why would I want a 100mm high-velocity gun? Maybe I could use those as anti-air as well, who knows. Just have an unnecessarily large cannon for anti-air purposes. It makes perfect sense. We've already played this- we've played seven hours of this, and not a single bit of it has gone to YouTube yet. And... is this another boss fight? I don't remember it being that rapid. What is it, Doctor? I have things to shoot. This is going on YouTube. The videos have already been rendered and everything. Just none of it has been uploaded yet. I've already done seven hours of it. A transport? Oh no, these are these are uh, missions that go up to the boss fight. Hmm, dot dot dot. Hey look! Look! Hey! Hey look! Captain, look! Giant aircraft, look! Or maybe it is the boss fight. 
I can't believe they give you that boss immediately after the other one. Admittedly, the other one's really easy compared to this one, but whatever. Although I do have high angle guns, so this could be a really easy fight. Your headset's volume's gotten bad over time, it's so low and it's set to 100. I think that's mostly. Uh, XSplit. Something changed in XSplit where my volume is just really low for whatever reason. It's, it's maxed out in XSplit. I cannot make it go any higher. And if I increase it on the microphone, then I'll be capping out the microphone. Bridge upgrade time? It depends on if this is the boss mission or not. If this is the boss mission, we're taking the... Uh, it's... Shoot down the Flying Fortress. We have to take the battleship for this one. The flying super weapon used in the Pacific Ocean battle. The one that has cannons on top of it, because the logic. How low can you go? I mean, the microphone is... I think the microphone itself is set to 20% on the little knobby, give or take. The knob on the back of it. In Windows, it's at 100, and in XSplit, it's at 100. Which is good for recordings, but for whatever reason, XSplit outputs it relatively low, it seems. Well, lower than it used to, anyway. Radar upgrade for the battleship? I don't think I have any better radar systems yet. I could put money into that because I have so much funds now though. Knob. Knobby thing on the back. A spinny knob that you grasp with your hand and rotate. I don't know about that, but you know. We've got to save London. They can't do it themselves, apparently. Show the Suster tab? I don't even... I assume you mean system, but good lord, that wasn't even close. I am talking about grasping knobs in my hand, and we can hold more vessels, which I don't care about. I usually don't have more than two or three. Back to R&D, we have six, 66,643, so we got three sixes. Well done, game. Look at that. Magics. So here are the systems we can get. We can get better radar. It's not much better. We can get better radar. We might want better electronic targeting, better delay. It actually weighs less. Decreases in weight, that's funny. What does R&D stand for? Research and Development. Ooh, we can get Thermal Vision now. Let's grab that. Let's get Targeting Delay and Firing Delay. Or sorry, not Targeting Delay, Electronic Targeting. Because those are pretty much required, and this... would take basically all of my money. But it's the start of a great thing. Decreases damage taken from shells by, or well, basically standard munitions by 20%. And it, it leads down to, obviously, better iterations of itself. But it would take all of my money, and I think it's actually a bit early in the game to need that, so... As much as I want to grab that, I think we may have to pass on that. We can keep getting better aircraft. You know, I'm curious if these raptors could actually hit the um, super weapon. Hmm. I'm really curious if those can hit the super weapon now. My word. And we can't get anything new there. We can get new helicopters? Oh, we've already got a helicopter. Ooh, anti-submarine helicopter. 
and a very, very silly anti-submarine helicopter with what appears to be a million blades.